Hey guys, this is Mike and Renee and we're Middle Age, Age Road, Road Rage. Rage. Well guys, it's December 2024 and maybe Christmas has come early for Goldwing owners. There's another patent leak online about some cool technology. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. This is a cool one. Hey Mike, what do you know about laser technology? Uh, I know I used to go to Laserium when I was a kid. Who doesn't love a good laser show? But the folks at Honda are going to show us how they can use lasers in technology, specifically for the Honda Goldwing. Now, I don't want to push anybody's buttons, but it seems to be like Honda's been falling behind some of the European manufacturers when it comes to radar development. Well, all right, I think you're on to something here, right? Because think about it, like BMW, Ducati, KTM, like, you know... All Moto Guzzi. Of, Moto Guzzi, right? They all use uh, a, a third party, like, equipped, like, is it Bosch? Is that yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, wait, let me stop myself there. Is it, uh, doesn't Moto Guzzi, uh, don't they and Triumph uh, use something from a company called Continental for blind spot detection? Yeah, that's really nitpicking, isn't it? <laughs> I know. Well, sometimes we have to nitpick when we're giving these, like, you know, breaking news patent information right. pieces, right? Yep. But, you know, we did a video some time ago about adaptive cruise control systems. But this is a little bit different than, than what we saw before, isn't it, Mike? Yeah, I agree with that. Why don't we check out these patent drawings? Sure, and I'll explain a bit about what's going on. So rather than using the exact same systems that their rival competitors are using... Let me guess, I, Honda's developing their own in-house technology. You're absolutely right. You know, Honda, Honda likes to take a leadership position when it comes to developing technology, but they don't always release it as fast as everybody else. That's an understatement. Right? So oftentimes there's a lot of great patent ideas that come out, but they're not always released in, in production. They do take a while. Okay, but this is a really cool idea, right? So rather than just, you know, going with radar like the other folks are doing, Honda's talking about incorporating a combination of radar, cameras, and LIDAR, which is laser-based light detection and ranging, to build a 360-degree like image around the bike's surroundings and nearby traffic to help you with, with guidance. Wow, that sounds pretty complex. So supposedly this technology will improve safety features like adaptive cruise control and collision avoidance, offering better response to changing traffic conditions. It opens up the door to advanced rider assist features such as lane keeping and even autonomous riding modes, potentially reducing rider fatigue on longer trips. So these patent filings show that the Honda people plan to equip the Goldwing motorcycle with a new set of sensors with 360 degrees degree awareness of its surroundings. So key to the system, as we said, is LIDAR, right? Which is going to be using these laser pulses to measure distances and create detailed 3D maps of the environment. Along with the radar and high resolution cameras, these sensors can then accurately detect obstacles, vehicles, and even pedestrians. Let me just jump in here. How are you going to make an autonomous riding motorcycle, number one? <laughs> I have been hit by a car, and I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter what kind of early warning that I had on my bike. Nothing was going to save me from that accident. And at the end of the day, how much cost is this going to add to a $30,000 motorcycle? Well, you know, you're, you're right on there. And that's probably why Honda's, um, you know, wanting to equip it on, on the Goldwing. But it's like you're already, you know, spending for a new bike, you know, like if you're getting a touring model and whatnot. And you're spending thirty grand. How much more money is this going to cost riders? I mean, what do you guys think out there? Yeah, leave a comment. Let us know. Yeah, I really do want to hear from our community. I mean, I feel the reason that they're talking about the different technologies and what they've like illustrated and what we've found is that they feel like laser, radar, and camera senses can work in a complementary manner. Like a camera might not work well in the dark, for example, but you know it's got low light and low color at that right, point. Right, whereas radar works without any light whatsoever. Right, right. But there are times where radar might fall short, like in certain types of you know situations, but the LIDAR can then step in and be more capable than the radar over a longer distance or in certain types of weather conditions. But then, then check this out, Mike. The other thing that they're they're doing is they're having the notifications come up on your instrument panel 
at different spots depending at the rate of speed you're going to, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So like, let's say you're coming up on some sort of object on a cold, foggy night, etc. You know, you'll get a, a warning uh, on the instrument panel, then another warning supposed to come up on the mirror, then something else is supposed to come up central. It's just like, is that too many warnings? Too and how does that also, if some, does it give you a warning if something is going to rear end you? Oh. Or are you going to get imp impacted from the side? Or is it a front impact? All these things with all these lights seems like a lot of a distraction. I mean, I'm very old school. I remember when motorcycles were two wheels or, you know, an engine, a transmission and some handlebars. And, you know, I don't, that was fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I know, I know. But you know what? It's just like some people are really safety and technology driven. I'm all for safety. Okay. Yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. But it's just like, I really want to know from the community, how do you guys feel about this? Like sometimes we'll bring up these points and say, how much is too much tech on a Honda Goldwing?